You are now tuned into the Bob Report. Dr. Tay G, what's poppin', my guy? We back again. Back again, once again. But this time, we, 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 we gonna get right into it, man. We Talk gotta, to me. We gotta go on and go there. Because <laughs> I've been getting these calls. There's a few people that saw you on the internet here lately, and they said, that's the guy that was on the yacht with, with Bandman Kevo. Yeah. C can you explain what were you doing on a yacht with Bandman Kevo? Shit, man, that shit was back in 2021. <clears throat> Pretty much in the mentorship program, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I paid his ass, shit, 100,000, well, 25,000 to meet him. Then I did a YouTube video with him for 75,000. And then we had, of course, we you had- You were paying a, him cash? Oh yeah, cash, nigga. Sure. Bank wire transfer, nigga, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Bank wire transfer. Sometimes bank wire transfer, sometimes goddamn, I do have bank wire transfer, and hell goddamn, I fly get that nigga that cat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, pretty much doing the mentorship with that nigga. On um, the yacht came and play. He broke down the marketing game and all type of shit, you know what I'm saying? So, pretty much on that networking, you know what I'm saying? Which that brought me more clientele and more mentee, you know what I'm saying? He showed me, he taught me sales and all type of shit. So I was on a yeah, I paid that nigga that shit, that bullshit. It was one of the, it was one of my smart investments, then one of the fucked up investments I ever did in life. I ain't gonna sit here and cap, but yeah. <clears throat> that why, why would you say it's, it's, it wasn't a good investment? It wasn't a good investment because goddamn, I learned that nigga, boy, them niggas. I been check this out. I've been this shit for about three years now, niggas. Three years, and them niggas showed me the industry. Hmm. What I mean by the industry, he, that nigga showed me how niggas is in this yeah. motherfucking world. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas don't want to see you succeed. Niggas want to <laughs> see you succeed, but don't succeed better than them, further than them. So that what that situation taught me. How how it was a great investment by shit. Man, I'm still at this motherfucker. Man, I earned a lot of money out there. Shit, I made that 200k back within a year. I say within a year from just doing that video, you know what I'm saying? So that's how that shit went. But I was on the yacht, popping my shit, he was telling me do this, do that, do that. Pull the yachts out, networking, and I learned, I learned, I learned a lot of shit during that time, so yo. Were you, were you looking more for the game from him or more of a friendship? Or were you looking for both? Shit, nigga, I'ma keep a G with you. I looking for motherfucking both, but me being, me being where I'm from, we, it's certain code we live by, certain G codes we live by, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm the, I come from a motherfucking era and the fuck, I worry about an old school nigga, but nigga finna give you some money. Where you from? Nigga, I'm from Meridian, Mississippi, Murder Meridian. Real down south, real nice. down south nigga. Let's get this, let's get this fresh shit fake. Let's get this shit straight. Cause a lot of people be arguing up and down about what they consider is the south. What do you consider the south, dog? The South is, the South would be Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, uh, maybe you could throw- Tennessee. Tennessee up in there. All right. Texas is like- Not the South. South. Texas not the West, South. kind of, sort of. So Houston what, the South. Because at the bottom? Houston in the South. Houston is, Houston is a poor city. Houston in the South. Texas not the South. So, so Houston is in Texas though. Houston is closer to Louisiana than it is Texas. Look at on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Houston is, is, is in Texas. It's in Texas, but Houston is south. Okay, you ever heard that saying? Like they say, goddamn. <laughs> this is me personally. Houston more ratchet and hood than Dallas. Am I lying? Uh, it's, 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 it's probably both. Nah, so, I, so what you saying is Houston is, is south and Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington. That's what that, that? that that's that's Midwest. Texas, that's Midwest. Dallas is Midwest. You in the middle line. Oklahoma not the south. Oklahoma is middle America. Exactly. That's Oklahoma, the Midwest. Nebraska. Mid, all that Midwest shit. type shit. Texas, See, we not, not we not we not Midwest though. What Dallas at no North? Midwest game. Man, Dallas. I'm put. I'm be real rich. I fought with Texas. I fought with Dallas, but Texas ain't the south where I'm from. I promise you ain't, it's not. So Mississippi cats don't look at Texas as a South? Not really. What they look at it as? Shit, me anyway. They look at Houston at the South. Anybody from Mississippi or anybody that stay in Texas right now or Dallas would get on here and tell you, this is not the South. Dallas, Texas is not the South. You know what I'm saying? Houston the South, I kid you not. 
Because, goddamn, matter of fact, to all my Jackson State alumni in this motherfucking area in Dallas right now, you see this video. <clears throat> if you feel like Dallas, Texas, the South, please comment. I'm going to let, let, let these motherfuckers tell you. But me personally, I fuck with, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with Texas. I love Texas. Shout out to Texas. Texas showed me love. Texas is on country. Yeah. When I moved to Texas, goddamn, my motherfucking bag tried triple. <laughs> yeah. For real. Why you think so? Good. More opportunity, more network. Where I'm from, okay, niggas in Texas, niggas in Texas can be rich and don't even have to go how don't even have to go. And they rich and living that shit. Well, I'm from, and they don't know the advantage they got growing up as a young nigga or individual, cause they too goddamn slow. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to take advantage of growing up in this area. But where I'm from, goddamn, we don't get this shit. If I grew up in Texas, man, I promise I'd be ten times rich. I promise <laughs> I'd be ten times rich. Like all the Texas individuals, all the kids out there, man, y'all better take advantage of this shit. Cause where I'm from, I come from trailers, trailer parts, small ass town, shit like that. Man, y'all got so much money out here, y'all better take advantage of this shit. But other than that, that's how I feel like Houston in the South, Texas, Midwest, that's my opinion. And then I think I ain't had no good ass cooking since I've been out this motherfucker. <laughs> so, would you call. So, Houston the South, and then is that the only part of Texas that's the South to you? Yeah, that probably they're pretty much the only part of Texas that's the South. San Antonio, not the fucking South. That's boy. No. What is that? That's more. That's more diverse. <laughs> what you call? Would you call that Mexico? Mexico. It's Mexico. I, I stayed in San Antonio for about a year. I only ran into like four, five black people. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker. But yeah, I fuck with Houston though. Houston. And plus, every time I go to Houston, every time I go to Houston, I'm in some nigga shit. <laughs> yeah. Dallas. Man, more diverse ties, laid back. You know how forward Dallas. Fort Worth, I've been to Fort Worth. Y'all get down out there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, where I'm from, this ain't the South. Yeah. This ain't the South. So yeah. But back on the back on the other such where I learned from that band man Kevo shit was, man, I I took an L. I gained, I gained a lot. You know what I'm saying? I took that L, but I gained a lot. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, I don't even talk on that nigga. Cause I be getting tired of these capping ass. Ho ass instigator be like, man, you doing this, you doing it, man. Nobody ain't saying, I don't I ain't never taking shit from that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the truth, the truth. That why niggas don't like me. But anywho, they such it. <laughs> Being able to to help people how you can, um, it's life changing uh things that are taking place when right. you fix someone's credit and even you're even more in depth than just fixing credit. Um so you you meet a lot of different type of people. Yep. Which 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 more do you get a kick out of? Um helping people or the money they pay you when they when you when they're paying for the service from Dr. Teji? I I do, I do this shit to help my people. The money ain't shit. I the, believe you too. The money ain't shit. Like I'm gonna keep it G. We've been printing time. Niggas done came to me and I done did shit out the I call it the bargaining system. Train system, GP. Look out for me. I look out for you. Look out for me when I call you. <clears throat> but that shit been bit me in my ass a lot of times. <laughs> I'm just being real. That shit been bit yeah. me in my ass a lot of times. A wise man once told me, just because you do others the way you want to be, you they ain't, they ain't gonna do the same thing you do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They ain't gonna treat you the same way. But I do that shit, man. I love having my people. You know what I'm saying? Because I see the Latinos do it, the Italians do it. Everybody else do it. Why can't we do it as black? You know what I'm saying? Like, why we can't go back to the 50s and 60s where we stuck together as a community? Mm -hmm. But still, we want to kill each other, put each other down. So I get a kick out of helping my community. I like seeing people come from nothing and go to something. I know I right, I help them contribute to that. Even if they don't give me my motherfucking flowers, I don't need my flowers. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm going to get my blessing for that regardless. You know what I'm saying? But I get a kick out of helping them succeed. Because at the end of the day, they might not like me. They might have paid me all their money, but they can. One thing they can say, Dr. Tay G gave them results. And I put them in a position, I helped them get in a position they want to get in. Even if it's just making a phone call for them, <clears throat> they still helping somebody. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 I do it out. I do it out of the passion for it. You got to have a passion for this shit. You got to have a passion for anything you do. 
If you don't have a passion for anything you do, you're not gonna enjoy, you're not gonna make money, you're not gonna last long. So that question you ask me, do I get enjoyment out of people paying me for my services? Yup, but I get a enjoyment out of seeing people happy, getting their motherfucking money, providing for their family, because that's all that matters, you know what I'm saying? The dollars don't mean shit. I've been having money before I had that became Dr. T. You know what I'm saying? The money just an extra factor for me to go throw off in the script clubs and shit. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, not too long ago, you, uh, I, I posted a, some game that you were kicking about child support, and it, and it went viral. It's like maybe 500,000 views on Instagram. Yeah. Um, can you explain what what exactly you, you, were, you were saying, man? Because people tapped into man. that. It's gone, Doc. Man, they got damn Sprite good. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, let me set the record straight. Let me set the record straight. To all my beautiful black women out there, to all my beautiful mothers out there, to all my single parents, single fathers out there as well too, cause some fathers on child sure. put, putting they, <laughs> take care of their responsibility and they, the mothers out being hoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but to all my people out there who take care of their responsibility, I did not put that out for sorry ass niggas who don't take care of their kids. I repeat, I did not put that out for sorry ass niggas who don't take care of their kids to escape that situation. If you don't take care of your kids, I don't have no respect for your bitch ass. Period. I don't have no respect for your bitch ass. So don't take this information I'm giving you and going and pulling yourself out of bullshit you know you goddamn ain't take care of. Dog, take care of them kids. That's number one rule. My whole purpose for that child support statement was to show individuals like, hey, child support can get be removed off your credit. Because a lot of people don't know that shit holds you back from getting a house, a car. Alone, you know what I'm saying? They look on your child support, they look on your credit report, and they see that um, Texas Department of Child Support, and you missed a lot of payments, late payments. You're not gonna get approved for shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't getting approved for nothing for that. So I had a lot of I had a lot of powerful women in my um, comments going crazy. Now I want to apologize to the black women out there. You know what I'm saying? The women, period, and all the single parents out there, period. I ain't mean it like that. It just ignorant motherfuckers that come in my DM, come in my comments, and knowing goddamn well they ain't taking care of their kids or not providing for their kids. They're trying to get something free, but I ain't fucking with that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, it's certain steps to do this shit anyway. Can, can you explain again, like exactly what you what you said that was, um, I guess, so informational enough that it did that good? Right. So. I pretty much told people how to remove child support off their credit. Child support do not report to no support support on your credit. A lot of people in my comments like, yes, the fuck what, you do. What, so, so I ain't mean to cut you off, Doc. If it's not supposed to report on your credit, how is it being done? Because is that illegal? That is illegal as fuck. I got a question. When you go sign for a check, you sign your signature, right? And if you don't sign your hard, wet ink signature in pen, not electronic missionary promissory no none of that bullshit if it's not your hard wet signature ink your professional ink that you pretty much trademark copyright anything that you can prove match this shit up they are violating your consumer rights they're violating your rights under the on the federal credit reporting act you know what i'm saying everything that go into your name your social security you must authorize get them authorization that's law and a lot of people like well child support do put on your credit no the Freak it down, no the fuck it down. You know what I'm saying? No the fuck it down, you don't post to. You post, you you are in control of what goes on your credit. So, what I said was, you can get child support removed. You can. You write a letter to the child support office, asking them specifically, hey, do you guys supposed to support, report this to my credit report, my personal credit report? This is defamation of character. Do y'all know what defamation of character is? If y'all don't know what defamation of character, go look it up. I just dropped a hundred dollars, hundred almost a million dollars of game right there for y'all. You can use that statement to get out of anything almost. Defamation of character is when someone is pretty much vandalized or fucking not vandalized, fucking ruining your character. What's the definition of character? You got something on your credit that's holding you back from feeding your kids or going to the house. You got something on your credit that you can't go get a car. That's defamation of character. That's destroying your character. That's destroying yourself on how to live. So, you write a letter to the credit report agency. Man, once you write that letter, you good. You know what I'm saying? They're going to respond back. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all how to fucking go do this shit. I'm not going to tell y'all how to. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go on a day. You got to pay for that. 
<laughs> you got a page that like all 55 of my mentees paid. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing. So you got 55 mentees? Man, I got 55 mentees who paid me to come learn this shit. Half, half of them was on the Jumping on the Point interview. I'm doing another interview this month, bringing the other half. So, niggas like, niggas like, nigga gotta learn that. Like, you gotta pay to play. Yeah. And you gotta, you don't, you gonna go use this shit for wrong. That's all I'm saying. You this shit for good. So, yes, child support can come out, your credit report. But for all you sorry ass fathers out there, bruh, don't take my, don't take no advice from me and don't take that shit and run with it. Cause certain things you gotta do. Take care of your kids, dog. That's your number one goal. Fuck the hoes, fuck the money, <laughs> your kids. Your kids come first. And I wanna apologize to all my women out there, all my parents out there that got their father on child support, you know what I'm saying? This and that. But I'm gonna drive one more, I'm gonna drive one more game. Fella, fathers, if you fucking smart, and you're fucking smart enough, uh, you will goddamn sit down with that, with that parent, that other parent, come to a mutual conversation, be like, hey, listen here, baby. Let's go set up a custodian account, a custodian IRA Roth account for my child. Or let's go set up a bank account for my child. I put $200, $300 in there every week. You know what I'm saying? Every week. They're going to keep You your, think that's going to keep them, them, them women from putting them guys on child support? No, they're not going to keep them putting on the child support. They go, they're just going to show them, like, hey, you trying to take responsibility of your kids. And But money, bro, money... Money don't raise kids. That's nothing I want to tell y'all, bro. Yeah. Go raise your kids. You can have all the money in the world still. You can have all the money in the world still. Got that don't take care of your kid. Huh? There's a lot of motherfuckers out here. Got a lot of kids. Don't even acknowledge them. Sorry ass niggas. Are you on child support? No, I'm not on child support. Cause me and my me and me and the mother of my child, I don't like the word baby mama. Me and the mother of my child, we got a mutual understanding. You know what I'm saying? We 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 know this a this a partnership. It's a teamwork. It's a family to raise my son. You know what I'm saying? And my son already taken care of before he even came in the world. That's when you set up trust and life insurance policies. You got trust and life insurance on your son already? I ain't finna tell the world. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I put everything in the trust. Everything in the trust, everything in life insurance. That's how you get rich. And you have a you have a you have a young a young a young son. Yes, I so have. So you can you can you can start that now. That's what the white folks do. Oh, you can start that now. I'm finna tell y'all three things y'all can do. Have your son or your kid successful by the time they're 18. Step one, you got good credit, go put them as an authorized user on your credit cards. Boom, when they first out the womb, they get that social security card, put them as an authorized user on your credit card. That way, by the time they hit 18, they have a 700, 800 credit score. Perfect. They gonna get any bank loan, any loan, they go to college, put them everything. Two, from day one, you wanna go set them up a custodian Roth ROA. You put $100 in there. Every month, hundred thousand dollars every month. By the time they motherfucking 18, 21, that motherfucker ate almost half a million, half, half a million dollars, two hundred k almost. Depending on how much you do, you can stay consistent because they give you a, they give you an interest rate return and you building your money. You know what I'm saying? Number three, what you can do is you can put your kids on your business payroll. So say for instance, if my son. Cause my son, I'm gonna I'm 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 introduce him to the world soon. We got another Tootie. Tootie badass, you hear me? <laughs> Tootie badass. So check this out. Uh, what you'll do is, I'll put my son on my business. I don't give a fuck if my son sweeping flows, marketing for daddy, doing anything. I'm gonna put him on payroll. He getting paid, which is a tax write-off for me, and he getting paid in his pocket. Then I'm gonna show him how to flip his money, go put into index funds like VOO or VTI. Shit like that, you know what I'm saying? There's three ways you can set your child up for coming successful. You know what I'm saying? Start them a business. So, yeah. Pay goddamn child support. <laughs> Dr. Tay G. Yes, sir. We recently had one of the biggest fights, <laughs> I'd say, in the last, maybe last 10 years. 20. Some, you think 20? 20. Because Pacquiao mm -hmm. and, uh, and, May and Mayweather fight, they were bored. What about, what about Tank and, and, and Ryan? That Ryan ass can't fucking fight. <laughs> Ryan can fight, man. No, the fuck he can't. That nigga is an internet boxer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no disrespect to Ryan. You a great, you a great alley, but you an internet boxer, dog. <laughs> like, no care, I fuck with you, but you an internet boxer, dog. In the world, I'm just, I mean, they're just speaking the truth. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just being the truth. How I know about this shit? 
Cause I've been boxing all my life too. Even though I ain't go professionally, my daddy boxed. So that's our sport. We, that's all I've been doing. You an internet boxer. You know what I'm saying? But you had Crawford and Spence, man. Um, but what, what happened? So man, I went to the fight, man. You know. You went to the fight. Man, I went to the fight. You was at the fight. Private PJ, you know, everything, you know. Doing my third deals, man. I went to the fight, man. I was excited about the fight. Man, I ain't never seen. I put it like that. That fight right there was like back in the 70s, 80s. Where well, all the dope boys, you go back to the fight. That is boxing. That's boxing, bro. That's how the fight, that's how that's boxing. That's classic boxing. All the big dogs were there. Vegas ain't never seen that many blocks, blacks in their life since fucking probably Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vegas ain't never seen that many blacks. But when I got to the fight, everybody asked me, who do you have your money on? <laughs> but I had my boy, I had my money on the truth, Earl Spence. And I'm a you real put Earl Spence. money on Earl Spence? Man, I put fucking 20 G's on Earl. <laughs> 20 mm. G's and lost it. 20 G's. You lost that, doc. Fuck you. <laughs> you definitely lost that. I fuck you. But look, man, let's talk about let, let's talk about the fight. See, I know boxing. Don't get me wrong, man. I fuck with T Bud, Terrence Crawford. I met Terrence Crawford before I came down to T D in Colorado and he was trained. Shout out, Chance, congratulations to that, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Good shit. But I'm a classic fighter. You know what I'm saying? I'm a classic fighter. Uh, Spence wants his wants his self that fight, dog. He had a lot of shit on his mind. I ain't never in my life seen Spear get caught with simple shots like that. Head was steady on the line, moving slow, throwing telegraph and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's a, that, that fight, that fight, it kind of it kind of fucked me up. I was in the crowd, man, like a motherfucker. But I get I get my boy T. Bud his his, his 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 respect. He was a better man that night. And then for all the motherfuckers out there, they don't know boxing. Y'all keep talking about some Terrence Crawford, I mean, Eric Smith, trash. Motherfucker, if he trash, why he go to, why he's on the Olympic team? If he trash, why he knock out 28, 29 motherfuckers? I'm on, you know what I'm saying? So if, is Crawford that much better than him then? I want to say better. He well, just, you got to say something. They stopped the fight. They stopped the fight, man. Let me tell you what. Crawford, that nigga. Here's why that nigga. He remind me of Pharrell Ritiker. You know who Pharrell Ritiker is? Parnell? Yo, Pereira, Parnell, but for real. We'll call yeah. nigga for real, you know. <laughs> Parnell Whitaker. Sweet P. Sweet P. Fight both hands, unorthodox. He got a good style. He adjusted to the fight. What T Bud did was he studied him. He did film study. Anytime a nigga go to the mountains <laughs> and cut off all communication, like in a Rocky movie and train, <laughs> he finna walk, you finna whoop your ass. <laughs> so if you if y'all if y'all be watching all access in the the pregame to the fight, and you if you look at the training camps, the training camps will tell you who's gonna win the fight. Cause I had to go back and rewatch that shit. Spence more a family oriented training camp. T Bud, he was on his shit. He in the training. He in there training running motherfucking mountains. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, and then another thing, bro. Spence, he Spence, he had an accident, bro. That, bro, your body's not the same as your motherfucker. A car going flipping, did this and that. You know what I'm saying? Yo, excuse me, your body's not the same. It might not hit you when you come back in boxing, but it's gonna hit you later on in life. That shit come, that shit come with the game, bro. So people sitting there down there, man. Matter of fact, the city of Dallas. The city of Dallas talk shit. I thought they was behind him. They did, but when he lost, they talk shit. Like, goddamn, a man can't have a bad day. Like. So you so you think it was a bad, it was just a bad day? It was a bad day. So you think in December, if they fight again in December, it's and then he was weight drain, bro. You can look at him. He was who? Man, Spence walked around one eighty. Oh, for real? He had to get down to one forty seven. That's hard to cut weight. Yeah. All the other motherfucking influence you see that losing weight in the month, the motherfucker having surgeries and do other shit. A, a pro boxer, it takes three months to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? You walk around at one, you walk around at 180, but you cutting down to 147. You ain't your energy gone. You drain. Then you gotta rehydrate out the fucking way in. That what happened. But yeah, man, she Crawford just beat him to the punch. He was picking his shots off. He was timing him. First round, I get a spence. But when he got, what do you mean? First round. How? Because it was a test game. It was a test game. Spence threw more punches in the first round. He didn't blend him. Yes, he did. You go look at the fight. 
He landed first round. Second round. From second round all the way up, Crawford dominated. Crawford. So you feel like you feel like Earl in December, if they fight, he got a chance at victory. Yeah, he had 154, because what's going to happen? 154, that's comfortable way. If you, go, if you walk around, and then he going to learn from an ass whooping. We all learn from an ass whooping. What did your father tell you? So let me ask you this. Uh-huh. If, if, you know, um, Earl's game... Hold on, I don't mean to cut y'all. That's another thing. Earl didn't have no game plan. How can you have a game plan when your game plan is to crowd and, and you keep getting hit with straight rights? Exactly, because he ain't got no game plan. They didn't train for set. People supposed to have a game plan. A, game plan B. If you go back and look at the pre, the post-conference, I mean, the after conference, when they got done, what did Crawford say he did? He took away what? His jab. Mm -hmm. Once they took away his jab, when he threw his jab, when Spence threw his jab, Crawford threw his motherfucking jab. And he timed him. You know what I'm saying? If you sit there and let Smith just wind on you and stay on the middle line, you're going to be a fucking punching bag. Every time Crawford back touched that rope, what he did? He circled that motherfucker out. Man, when it comes to that boxing game, bro, people can't tell me about that boxing game, dog. I do this shit. I, I think you need to go back to, to the drawing board if, if you think Earl going to win in December. One bet 20, one put bet one bet 20 G? You want to bet another 20 G? That was, bro, that's how it comes in. It, it always happened like that. You want to know how it always happened like that? I'm going to break it down. He barely hit him, Doc. That's cool. I'm finna break it down. You ready? Roberto Duran beat Sugar Ray Lynn ass, right? The first fight. Cool. Sugar Ray Lynn came back the second fight and whooped his ass. Keep that in mind. Sugar Ray Lynn beat Tommy Hearns, right? Tommy Hearns turned around and beat and knocked Roberto Duran out in the fucking second round. Marvin Hagler beat Tommy Hearns, right? Sugar Ray Lynn came back and beat Marvin Hagler. You see the, you see the shit I'm talking about? Everybody has their days. I don't think it's gonna happen. I see you break it down. Shit. But I just, you know, sometimes some of the people you just need to leave alone because you, you can't do nothing with them. I, I, I got faith in my boy. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be an easy fight, but I got faith in my boy. I think that's one of these cases, Doc. You might need to leave it. <laughs> Man, I got that voice. Just saying. But now nah, I get my boy T Bud. And them, hey, bro, this shit fun. Them niggas live in person. You big them niggas. Yeah. Man, I got a pitch I could pull up right now. Hold on, let me see can I find that motherfucker, y'all. Bruh, I'm bruh. When I went up there two years ago to fight T-Bud, I mean, it's them. To me, T-Bud, yes, dog. Yes. That nigga, that nigga is lil. Them niggas lil, bruh, but them niggas quick and they'll knock your big ass out. They'll knock your big ass out. Hold on. Give me one second, y'all. I know y'all like, man, this nigga literally finna pull up a picture. You got me right, fucking right. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm gonna pull this picture up real quick on y'all niggas. Give me one second if I can find the motherfucker. Then how long it been? That's how long it been. Here you go. Right here. Ugh. 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 Yeah. That nigga look ain't it. <laughs> That's the, that's, the, that's the world champ. That nigga look at it, Colorado. Get it right. I'm up there on the I'm up there on the engineer project at Fort Carson, and I'm in there hitting the bag on the Olympic team. He like, you want to meet the champ? I'm like, who? Terrence Crawford. And I'm like, shit, let go. Me and my pilot went up there. He was so cool, bro. Terrence Crawford was so cool. He, he wanted to goddamn come back and train one that day, but we had to work. So, yeah. But so back you to your motherfucking you, you ass. Got spins in December. I got spent in December, but I'm a smart motherfucker. Cause here's how. This a free game for y'all. I bet on online AG. Bet online AG dot AG. I was betting round betting, y'all. Meaning, okay, I, I, I bet that either Spin gonna win by TKO the decision or KO. Then I would bend that, hey, he knocked him out in the fifth round, sixth round. I was betting in the later rounds. I fucked up. What I should have did was, I should have put 50 on Crawford. 50 on, what's that? 50 percent on Spence. That way, I would have lost that bet, but I would have got that money back and probably more from Ben. Make sense? Bet on both of the fighters. <laughs> so, you you've done a, a lot of interviews. Um, you went viral a, a lot of times. Uh huh. Uh, you did a viral interview with Off the Porch. Shout out to my boy, yeah. Um, you've done viral interviews with the Bob Report. Shout out to my boy Supreme, real nigga on the team. You feel me? <laughs> you know, you 
you you've been on the internet doing your thing. Yeah. So you would uh <laughs> you would you would think <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Paul, <laughs> hey, y'all, we here chilling. This nigga, this nigga, being a nigga. <laughs> hey, I'm listening. You would, you would think that, um, oh, Big D the Mogul. You, you, you Shout out to my boy Big, Big D. D. I fought with Big D. You hear me? You would think that Dr. Tay G's name would, would, would be big enough to be on uh, Say Cheese TV or something like that. Yeah. Um, can you explain why we haven't saw you on Say Cheese TV with the vibe information that you have? I don't know. Why have you saw me? Why y'all haven't saw me on say T TV, Sean? You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's true or not, but word on the street, you don't fold me from an associate. You ain't finna give me the interview for an associate, but hey, I can. You, you, I'm gonna cut y'all back, but you, you, you were trying to pay. Oh yeah, one numbers. thing. Let me make something straight, cause I ain't no capping that nigga. I pay my way in the dough. Ain't that right, Supreme? No doubt. Every time the Supreme gave me a number, I pay my way. If I offer a nigga a bag. You know what I'm saying? If I offer a nigga a bag to get on his to get on his thing, that mean I'm fucking with you and I respect it. I don't want no handouts, I don't want none of that nigga. You know what I'm saying? To put me on your platform to give a nigga a shot. But you stopping a nigga, you stopping a nigga motion because of what another bitch ass nigga gotta say. You finna stop your bag from other another bitch ass nigga gotta say. Cool by that, my guy, that's how y'all rock. Much respect to y'all niggas. I still got I still fuck with say cheat, I still watch it. You know what I'm saying? But me personally, as a man, I don't respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because what one nigga problem got to do with another nigga? You know what I'm saying? Another nigga situation when it's kind of business. Business, business, person to person. So if you niggas want to take that shit personal, we get it personal. But that shit, that, that, that the word on the screen. There were all the other influence. There were all the other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you feel like blackballing is a real thing? Fuck yeah! Man, these bruh, and I put it like that. Any nigga, any man that'll blackball another man for making his money, that's not even me. Anybody stop a nigga from making money free in family, you a bitch ass nigga. And I say that shit to your face, you a bitch ass nigga, bruh. You feel me? Not call Sean a bitch ass nigga, but I'm saying that y'all y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. You a bitch ass nigga. And I'm just being real, like, come on, bruh, nigga trying niggas trying to get money, right? It's a business thing, it's business and personal. So when you, when, you, when you reached out to pay, what, what, what were you told? Shit, man, I would tell you that that interview ain't gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I would tell that interview won't happen because of such and such. I like, what the fuck? I like, well, cool then. I can't do no respect it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what dog, what, what dog say? He said he got a million dollars for Jay-Z to do a feature. But if he don't, he still got love for him. Because yeah. them bitch ass niggas, some, he got some niggas over there that be hanging. That's how I feel. <laughs> you feel me? So. Nigga be black, nigga try to blackball me. I'm like, the fuck you trying to blackball me for a nigga? I ain't do shit to y'all niggas. Yeah, why, why, would, why would a guy like yourself, um, why would you think that you you have the possibility of being blackballed with the valuable information that you have? You Cause I, it's too valuable? Cause I blackballed when I first goddamn came out. When the first, first word, first word they heard about me, it was our one interview. And the information too bad. Niggas don't like to see niggas come up, but I been in this shit three years, right? Three years. I been doing, I'm doing something good. And I know you niggas know about me. <laughs> I know you niggas know about me. That's okay, cool. I still fuck with y'all niggas. Y'all boys with mutual respect. But as a man, I'm taking these motherfucking glasses. As a man, nigga, I don't respect that shit. You know what I'm saying? was some kind of um, competition with you and in the, in the, in the individual that you feel like um, he might have said some derogatory things to about? Man, I ain't in competition with none of them niggas. They ain't competition with me. That's what I'm saying. You like, man, I probably would. You know how niggas is. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. These niggas, these, 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 like, huh? Like, yeah. You gonna put another bug in another nigga ear to make him do that instead of come being a man and come look at that man in his eye and judge his character. A lot of these niggas in this industry ain't got no character, bro. Yeah. They ain't got no character. They, they ain't got no character. I'm like, bro, cool. But yeah, I was told no. I'm like, fuck it, cool. But y'all quick to post a nigga's death. Y'all quick to be on drama, but when they trying to help help the community or put some game on some nigga shit, y'all don't want to post it. And shit, nigga, I got results. I got results. The other niggas, the other nigga that put that shit in your ear, what, what have them nigga produce? I'm at a 700, y'all, in about 30 something days. I got motherfucking results, dawg. 
I got messed up, but I'm too, but I'm too, I'm too pee for that shit, bro. Cause I'm like, what the fuck, like nigga, like nigga, I'm finna make everybody money. You look like a rapper. I look like a rapper. Of course, I look like a rapper. I look like a rapper, a businessman, a street <laughs> nigga, a military nigga. Bro, I get, bro, they're cool. They're me. Back, that's, bro, that's me, bro. Are Yo, you going to, bro, like, they're me, bro. That's just how I am. But they're cool, though, bro. So y'all feel like niggas trying to blab all your boy, but I'm like, man, we just going to pray for that team. We don't need them niggas to dot take these steady going up. Y'all niggas want to reach out to me. Y'all got my numbers. But don't let another nigga, don't let another nigga Fuck your blessing up, dawg. You know what I'm saying? Or fuck up your relationship. Cause I don't give a fuck about the money. The money ain't nothing. I'm just trying to get my message out there the positive way. And I ain't on no negative shit. I'm just being real. I'm just speaking fast. Niggas get mad. And then niggas get mad at me for some shit. I ain't really go in, nigga. I really can go in on your bitch ass, dawg. That real nigga shit. I really can go in. But I'm not no hang that nigga. I ain't finna, I don't ever stop a nigga bad. You feel like you be hating if you told the truth? No. Is that hate? It ain't. Yeah, I mean, nah, that ain't hate. They'll make it seem like hate, it's, but it's. This, 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 if I told the truth, if it like, if I told the truth on that situation, if it like it's hate, nah, it just, I ain't got energy for that shit no more. Okay. What I mean, I ain't got energy for that shit. My mind on something else. If a nigga wanted some, if a nigga wanted some, this is they'll do it. I ain't got time for that, bro. I don't wish them niggas nothing but. But see, I just don't like how niggas, like, damn, nigga, like, don't, don't. Nigga, don't do an interview. Just how he say, she say, do an interview off a character. Have a Zoom call me. Have a FaceTime me. Then do an energy. But ain't no problem, bro. I don't have a problem, bro. I'm too. I ain't got time for this shit. Is that the only platform you feel like um, you would stop that at getting on? Um, right now, yeah. Cause let be real. Yeah, that. A couple, few more others. Like, like who? Shit, probably no jumper. Probably no jumper, but I fucked them boys out there. Um, fresh and fit. <laughs> you want to go in there too? Yeah, I want mine going there and popping my shit and motivating people. You know what I'm saying? Um, who else, man? It's a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? I don't want niggas thinking, oh man, this nigga, man, 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 motherfucker. I ain't got time for that. I see, I see you um, being on like uh, love and hip hop. <laughs> Like Miami or like Atlanta or something. You got valuable information, man. Hey, hey, nigga, hey, nigga, y'all want to see me on a reality show? If y'all want to see Dr. Tay on a reality show or something, let me know. We're going to talk Benny, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how I feel about that black ball situation. But I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping on this shit. Everything. So, Doc. Talk to me. How can, how can a person obtain a vehicle, dog? The, the proper way. The proper way. That's a good question. To all my people out there, this is how you attain the vehicle. Rule number one, you never go to the dealership. You never go to the dealership and let the dealership run his credit. For one, say that again. you never go to the dealership and let the dealership run your credit. Here's for one. The dealership is the middleman. The bank is the big dog. Then it's you. So, Bank, middleman, you, okay? You go to the dealership. The dealership is gonna pull your, run your credit 30 to 40 to 100 times just to approve you for one vehicle. What I mean by that is, they rank your credit through Capital One, US Bank, Bank of America, all these big banks to see which bank is gonna approve you for that one particular loan. Let's say you get approved of a $20,000 auto loan from, the, from Capital One or some shit. CarMax is then going to take another 20% or 20000 and put it on top of that loan. So what they'll do is you'll come out, they'll come and be like, hey, I approve you of 40000 You know what I'm saying? Here's 40000 you got to prove it is, you get this car. Then they're going to turn around and ask you for a down payment to make the first payment through the bank. through they, So they pretty much going to take your money and pay the bank through the loan. So they're going to take 20000 out. They're going to take your first payment, put that on the own thing, and go from there. That's how they do it. You don't do it like that. You, that's why people, a lot of people come in and have 50 to 60, 100 increase, trying to get a car, trying to get a car. So why would they run your, your stuff that much for one car? Because they're trying to see which, which, which loan, which auto loan is better, and which interest rate is better for them so they can make their money. They're the middleman. So how do you take them out of the middleman? You go to the bank first. You go to the bank and ask for an auto loan. You want to get pre-approval of an auto loan, see what you pre-approve of. 
They write you that check. You go to the motherfucking dealership. You get your car. You give them the check. You make sure you have your insurance because insurance is important. Insurance is important, y'all. Don't be riding around this motherfucking insurance. Especially talking about motherfucking people out here that take trips. Got down and take trips out, out the country in Cancun and shit. And then come back, got to pay your bills. Come back, got down, got to pay your bills and shit, man. Get your shit together. All right? That's how you get a car. They give you the car, you good. That's how you get a car. What about a house? Is, it, is, it, is, that, is that easier than a car? A house? Nah, a house not easier than a car. A car easier than a house. Here's why. Because with a house, they looking for you. They looking at a lot of shit and factors. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then a house is a bigger loan. It's a bigger mortgage loan. That you in a hundred thousand. Hold on, doc. Hold on, hold on, man. Hold on. How? You so you gotta have your credit right and tight before you even attempt to go trying to get a house, man. Exactly. Everything. Oh, they need to come talk to you. They need to come talk to me. Twenty first century business consulting. You heard me. Supreme gonna be good. My boy gonna be dropping his motherfucking credit score soon oh, for y'all. Yeah, you feel me? And y'all gonna see my boy pulling up flexing. Yeah, it's coming soon. Y'all just seen me post that motherfucking picture with my boy Tony with them Amex cards, yeah, right? Tony All right. With them, with them American Express cards. You give me? I'm not. Everybody else talking about credit. They ain't show y'all their credit score, hey? They ain't show y'all no American Express, hey? Ah, right, but nigga wanna. Shit, I got like 15. Let me see. Give me one second, y'all. Okay. Oh, bitch. Put this motherfucker right here. Oh, yo, big bang. <laughs> Let's see, how many I got with me today? And if nigga try to, nigga try to play, you will lay. <laughs> One. You see? Two. Damn. Three. How many I got? Give me right now. Yeah, I got a skew. I don't want to do the fucking world in my business. <laughs> so that's three American Four. Experience. That's four American Express. Five. I don't keep all them calling me in the damn way. Five. Five American Express. Hold on. Where my, uh, where my blue one at? If it ain't blue, it ain't true. You dig. Hold on. Six. I got six American Express with me. You got six Amex cards on you. Amex card on me. Then we got we got the business, Bank of America. Uh, the business, Will Fargo's. The Navy Federal. You got all of them? Oh damn, dog. We get money, dog. And we got a my my close friend inner circle know about this car. I ain't gonna show y'all, but <laughs> this, yeah. hey, this is how I be flying private jets. <laughs> Look, real. <laughs> but yo, man, I yo, I do that. You know what I'm saying? And my son got seven hundred credit score, and he ain't number four months. <laughs> how you do that? Put him on all my credit cards. Put him on there as a, as a authorized, authorized user. Yup. Both of his parents got good credit. Yeah. And being in the credit, so he good. Yup. Yeah. Okay. Yup. Yeah. But that's how you do that, dog. What about you? So the, the, I interrupted you on the house game. Um, so they got to have their credit right before they even go try to get a house. What's a typical credit score um, to have to get? I ain't gonna say your dream home, but what you what you want to live comfortably. What what kind of credit score do you need? A six eighty. Six eighty, you can get what you want to get. Yeah, six eighty, you get what you want to get. Um, six eighty, pretty much get you in the door. No derogatory, no late payments, not a lot of increase. Six eighty. Six eighty, man. Like six eighty starts you off. If you ain't got no six eighty, don't go do with it. Six eighty, gonna run that shit up. On um, six eighty though. Man, a mortgage, mortgage is high because it's higher loan. A house not finna, they not finna give you no mortgage loan. They not finna give you no big ass mortgage loan on some bullshit like that if. I would say, if you gonna do a big, do a big. Get a hundred thousand up. All right? On a house? On a house. Is it easy to get a car or a house? It's easy to get a car first. Easy to get the car? Yeah. Because one thing about the house, they wanna see how credit work is. How this system work is everything is based off debt to income ratio. They want to see how much good debt you in for first before they offer you that home loan. So if you got an auto loan, if you got an auto loan that's like forty thousand, or you got a credit card and you got eleven account, eleven accounts reporting to your credit, they are gonna see that okay, you been paying down your already your debt. Let's offer him a three hundred k mortgage loan. They want to see how good you manage debt. Make sense? 
Mm-hmm. Shit, for instance, I got that got my auntie approved. Shit, let me see. Let me see. Can I let me see? Can I pull it up? I got my auntie approved last year. Off of a construction loan. I'm at 400k, 300k. Let me see. Construction loan to build a home from scratch. Mm-hmm. Let me see. What was her credit score? 700 after I cleaned it. Yeah. <laughs> 700 after I cleaned it. Let me see. Can I pull this motherfucker up, though? I think I have to lose it. Don't worry about it. But I the, feel. The, 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 the car is easy, easier to get than the house is. Yeah, a car is easier to get to the, than the house. So my, what's the credit score you need to go get a car you want? Or just a, a good car? 680. Everything. So 680. Everything 680. You want a decent all along. Yup, 680. Dr. Tay G. Yes, sir. Um, are, you, are you a single guy? Like, how's your love life? Um, you, know, you dress nice, you got money, you got good credit. Uh, you know, you're successful. Yes, sir. How's your love life? Oh, man, I'm single as a motherfucking prune. I'm going to keep it real with y'all right now. I'm. I'm <laughs> I'm keep real. I'm a single father. I'm a single father. I'm a bachelor. I'm out here living. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here living. I would, y'all. I'm out here living. <laughs> <laughs> but I said I'm out here living. I'm, I'm single as a motherfucking pringle. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people have me that. I got. I get a lot. I get a lot of cougars, <laughs> women. You feel me? Like I'm a leave with dogs. I'm, I'm smooth with the bitches. I'm smooth with the bitches. But yeah, I'm chilling, dog. I put it like this. Man, eh, when it when it, let's take the money out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? I gotta yeah, I, let's take the money out of the situation. Let's take Dollar Tay D. I bet the bit the, the the women always been there. The women always been there since a young nigga. I got a partner, roll dog, you know what I'm saying? Like we been doing this shit. The money just oof. But I'm all my to my advice for all the men out there and the young niggas out there, get your bread first. Get yourself in shape. Keep your hygiene's up. Work alone. Make sure everything up here and keep everything good. Keep your fingernails dead. And the women gonna come. They look at that nigga. And don't. Go, go, go ahead. Now what you been say? Some dog, that shit you saying is, is a necessity. But as long as you got that yaper, she don't oh. give a damn what you look like. Yeah, cause get what? A lot, of, a, lot, a lot of women, a lot of women want broke ass niggas. But a lot of niggas want, a lot of women want broke ass niggas. And a lot of women want niggas they control. A lot of women take a a, a, a a troll looking ass guy if he got that paper. Because shit, sometimes the big guy get paid. You dig? Mm -hmm. But my mom always told me you can be ugliest motherfucker in the room, but you smell good, bitch. You gonna draw it. Well, you got money or not? Let me tell you something. Let me tell, let me put y'all niggas on game when it comes to women, dog. For all these niggas out here, hey, cause some of you niggas out here tend to dig by hoes. <laughs> like can't be tender dig by these hoes. So check this out. One, a female gonna do when they, a female gonna do something, they gonna do it. They know when they gonna do it, what they do it, how they gonna do it. Niggas ain't gonna never find out about it. So why is you putting all your energy into worry about that? Get your shit right first, and then you have them bitches on rotation. You supposed to have a female every day of the motherfucking week. If you a single bachelor guy, you supposed to have a female every day of the motherfucking week. Cause like the great Floyd Mayweather must say, once said, these bitches like doorknobs. Everybody get a turn. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So stop putting all your energy into these women, bro. Get your shit right. Women too, or vice versa. Stop putting all y'all in into these niggas. Get y'all shit right. Me personally, a lot of people ask me what I look for in a woman. I look for a woman already established, who I can grow with and build with. You I ain't get a lot of older women? Man, them motherfuckers, older women controlling. <laughs> older women controlling, dawg. In my experience, older women controlling. And they try to mommy you, bitch. I don't even listen to my mama sometimes. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna listen to you. So I'm damn sure I ain't finna listen to you, but I know I got more and I'm doing better than you. So I'm saying most 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 females your age are most likely not on what you own. Nah, some on me or some on not. Don't get me wrong, you got some fifty percent and fifty percent not. Fifty percent fifty percent women just got there and go do their thing, goddamn they use what they got. You know what I'm saying? Not saying they out here fucking. <laughs> They out here fucking, but they. Let me say, say they doing that too, dog. I'm yeah, I ain't, but they like they you what they got. Most other women like, nah, I'm independent woman. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. But most motherfuckers ain't on. Most motherfuckers ain't on when I'm on. But a lot of women, women go harder than niggas. I said that in my last interview. Mm -hmm. But what I look for in a woman, someone already established, hard working. I ain't got to build up. So I need someone I know like, okay, if I have a bad month, or then this nigga can fall back on her. 
And then when we fall back on, and then when that, when I catch back up, I'm gonna pay you back, baby, in interest. It's a team. You know what I'm saying? It's a teamwork. I need somebody who's gonna think long term, not short term. And you know, home want to goddamn Birkin bags, Celine and shit all damn time. Bitch, let's go buy this. Let's go buy this land. <laughs> you got Celine shades on. Okay. <laughs> nigga, I can buy this shit. Okay, nigga. Damn, I can, nigga can't spoil this stuff. Y'all want me on here dressed like these white boy? <laughs> nah, the reason I got Celine, sometimes you gotta pop your shit, bro. Like, I ain't never had shit, bro. I'm from fucking the project, nigga. I'm from the east side. I'm a really, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm the only nigga out of my city that's not an athlete, not a rapper, doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, of course, I'm a spur and I do the part, do this shit. I wear this shit to motivate these young niggas. Like, bro, you ain't gotta be no rapper, no dope boy, no athlete to get this shit like that. Don't y'all niggas know smart niggas winning? Yeah. Smart niggas win. You know how many women it came to me and said, oh my God, you so smart. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many women came, oh my God, you so smart. And I'd be like, cool, you feel me? But, yeah, fellas, but get yourself right, keep your hands dead, and you look a woman in the eye, dog. You look them in the eye, and you be, you be, you be crazy, you be you respect the woman, dog. You respect her. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. <laughs> but answer y'all question, nah, motherfuckers. I'm single. And don't let this motherfucking shit fool y'all. It's just for bling bling. <laughs> would you um would you go on a reality TV show to like on a Dr. Teji's love life? Or would you go to a <laughs> like ATL to date one of the yeah, I, is that bad right here? Yeah, we talking on him. Hell yeah, I get on that motherfucker. Show you niggas how to treat y'all women. Come be real with you. And I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this conversation alone. One thing about Dante, I'm a country nigga, old country. Now. And since I've been in Texas, I have learned that most of these niggas in Texas don't like black women. So when they get a nigga, like? mix exotics, all that. See me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a basic type nigga when it comes. I like my women all natural. I like a black. I love black women, dog. You know what I'm saying? So what I do, I come in, treat them right, treat them respect, open doors, nigga. You be tricking? I don't know about be tricking. What's what's considered tricking to you? Cause a lot of me and my partners had this conversation. What's considered tricking? You, like, you might be tricking, doc. What what's considered tricking to you? Uh, shit. I mean, what's considered tricking to you? This was saying trick to me. You got them doing this flying motherfucker out there. And you ain't get no pussy. That's tricking. You ain't get no. I don't even say pussy. You fly motherfuckers out. Say that again. What, what is tricking? This, this is what this is what this is what's tricking for to me, dog. When you fly the motherfucker out, you spend the money on the bitch, and you ain't getting no knowledge, you ain't getting no, you ain't getting no network, you ain't getting no money out there, but you ain't doing something that's gonna return the favor. What you doing? You ain't gotta be pussy. That's tricking to me. You going out like a sucker, a yes man, a beta male. That's tricking to me. A lot of men be like, man, flying the bitch out, tricking, nigga. What? How the fuck that tricking? Nigga, putting gas in your car to go see the bitch tricking. Am I am I wrong? So you think if you put gas in your car to go see a female? No, 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 that's tricking. That's tricking too. You wanna know how that's tricking? Because you taking your hard earned money. Your ass can sit in the house, or you can have that bitch come to you, right? Yeah. But you putting money in your gas in your tank to go see her, taking her out on a date, same thing. Even goddamn talking on the phone, that bitch trick. You wanna know why? Cause you wasting your hard earned time that you go make some motherfucking money or talk to another female for this motherfucker you ain't getting none in return. My point of tricking, if you ain't getting none in return, you going on like a so jack. When, when, when you be tricking, then you get some motherfucker ain't tricking. Take that. <laughs> 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 motherfucker ain't tricking. They just being a nigga. It ain't tricking. You got it. You know what I'm saying? They just being. I'm just being a man, bro. See that nigga proud. The niggas think they finna get well. Most niggas think. They get, bro. Ain't shit in the world free, bro. Even yeah. ain't shit in the world free. Something gonna always come with a cause. Even if you ain't, even if you ain't tricking, you ain't got. You still fuck the bitch. Something gonna come with a cause. You finna lose your relationship. You finna lose some fuck with it. But you gonna lose your mind, fuck with a bitch. <laughs> some come with a cause, dog. So all you niggas keep talking about some tricking, bro. What the fuck? It ain't tricking. You got it's certain. It's certain levels to this shit. I don't consider it tricking. If I see a beautiful woman who on her shit. I want to get to know her. Hell yeah, I'm going to take her out of dinner. Hell yeah, I'm going to send her a chauffeur. Hell yeah, I'm going to buy some flowers. It's just simple shit. Hell yeah, I'm going to be a fucking... And you don't it, think that's tricking. That's just you being a gentleman. That's just me being a man. Bro, that man shit. All right. What the fuck? Y'all niggas, niggas... Bro, I'm finna get on these niggas' ass. Y'all niggas want to be so hard in front of y'all homeboy. Y'all trick on them whole ass niggas every day. Hey, bro, can you buy me some lean? Can you do that? That's tricking. I already trick for a female than to trick around niggas. I don't hang with niggas. You get what I'm saying? You ever think about people ever think about that? 
to to the men out here listening there that y'all be out, y'all be so in tune with y'all niggas. And then when they be getting the time out trick and did this, y'all spend more niggas, niggas money on y'all niggas than y'all women. Yeah. Am I lying? Not necessarily, no. Niggas spend more money on they niggas than they women. That's weird to me. That's I'm gonna keep it G with that weird as fuck to me. So that's tricking, dog. Me personally, if I see a motherfucking, but for all the niggas who see this video, I'm talking about that nigga trick, that's good. I'm gonna trick your bitch <laughs> to LA or somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and you gonna be like, man, you gonna be mad. Well, you ain't gonna be mad, you gonna be happy, Dr. Tay, he fuck my bitch. I'm gonna trick your woman, goddamn, and go, I'm gonna boss that hoe up. And I go. You gonna mess with a celebrity's girl? <laughs> or I don't care to tell you, nigga. <laughs> I done had my share. <laughs> Seriously? I done had my share. So the answer that to, to add on to my boy Supreme, you me they're tricking. No, I ask you, do you be tricked? Yeah, dude, you ask me, do I be tricked? I don't consider that trick. I do it for the long term. I want to I wanna motherfucker network. I want to know who she know, what she know, and what she do. Because at the end of the day, we can make money together. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it for the long term. I ain't looking for no pussy. I don't give a fuck about pussy. Pussy going to come. You know what I'm saying? It just... I'm looking at it for the long term, the network, Bruh, A a woman, a woman can run a business. A woman can run a business better than a man because a woman got something a man can't. So if I see a black beautiful woman on Instagram or anything on her shit, and I'm fucking with her, I'ma shoot my shot. Have I been turned down before? Hell yeah, every nigga have. But but nigga, guess what? That don't stop the motherfucker. One monkey don't stop those show. You keep rolling, nigga. Yeah. You live, nigga. So. That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Like my boy Supreme said, you don't wake up niggas to brush your teeth to go look good for a nigga. No, you do it for a woman, right? All right, dog. So, the, the flying the flying the chicks out, because I'm pretty sure when you meet chicks, <laughs> do, they, do, they, do they ask you for money? Do they ask you to do this, do this? Like, how, how, how soon or how long do it take for a lady to ask Dr. Teji to do something for her? Because you get all this shit you got on. Man, first of all, someone admitted, but I shut that shit down. I shut that shit down quick. Like, I ain't no motherfucking money thing. Now, if you come to me, you approach me in a certain way, like on a business matter, then I'm gonna make my money back. Then hell yeah, we gonna we finna make some money. But oh, do this for me, do that, bitch. What? Huh? No. No, you finna you gonna have to, what? It take like. And women don't like that when you tell them no, bro. They they think niggas don't have more. Certain niggas have more. Just like how y'all have more, certain niggas have more. I work hard for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because if I lose all this shit, get where you gonna be? On the next nigga dick. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, no. I'm gonna put that shit in the contract. If you want some money, we finna put that shit in the contract. We finna make some money. I'm gonna make money off you before you ask money. But ask me for money. Why? Because I'm gonna show you how to go get the money. I'm the type of nigga I teach motherfuckers how to fish. Now, certain people don't catch it. That's they dumb ass. And if you can't catch it, you not, you not, you can't be, you can't be around me or you can't be. With the team, you gonna be around no other successful man. You know what I'm saying? But if you catch it, salute to you. We got long term relationship. We ain't, we ain't gotta be fucking. We ain't gotta be having sex and none of that. But we locked in. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping. So if I don't hit it, somebody out of the group gonna hit it. And if one nigga out of the group hit it, might the whole the, the whole team. Hit. <laughs> Dr. Tay G. Yes, sir. Do you, um, do you have a stylist? Nah, I style myself, big dog. You style yourself? Yeah, I'm a Libra, but Libra's not a dress. Well, where the hell you get that from? Man, if you look up every Libra, Libra not a dress, nigga. He nigga said look up every Libra. Uh, Libra's not a dress. I some ragged dress in there at Libra. For sure. what, what type of it? They September or October? I'm an October Libra. Oh, September, for sure. I ain't finna do that, because September, <laughs> cause September Libra can dread too. I ain't gonna count. That nigga Wayne, niggas can't count. That nigga Wayne started some trends. Like the camouflage, Levi's and shit, and Vans and shit. Tattoo, he starts from trend. T.I. can dress. Okay. Fucking Dirk can dress. Beyonce is a, a September Libra too, right? Hell nah, Beyonce a Virgo, a Leo. She a Leo? I think she a Leo. I don't know, I ain't no Beyonce fan, but shout out to Queen B, I'll find that. What, <laughs> what are you wearing now? So, I'm gonna do you the whole fit. Do what I'm wearing, you get what I'm saying? I'm pretty basic today, y'all. We got on Celine glasses. This motherfucking about 350, the Celine glass 350. I had these bits on in the fight. I got on a generation of wealth 
merch that one of my one of my subscribers sent me. Shout out to my boy. You know what I'm saying? Go check him out. It's called Generational Wealth Merch. It's gonna be like it's gonna be in the um, bio. I, I promise him. I promise him that I'm gonna wear his stuff. You know what I'm saying? Promote him. Uh, if y'all want me to promote y'all businesses or merch or anything, I'm gonna have everything in the bio and the link with the address y'all can send it to. I promote y'all. Oh, um, got on my jewelry, of course. I'm pretty light today. Got the motherfucking Levi's on. You know what I'm saying? Levi Five Eleven. You feel me? Uh, skinny. You know what I'm saying? With that bag of <laughs> shit. You feel me? And I got on the motherfucking Black Forces. You did. Yeah, Black Forces. Cause on. I'm ready to rob a nigga today. You did. <laughs> so I'm pretty simple today. So yeah, see, most niggas be overdoing it. The, the designer down, nigga. Fuck that nigga. All you need is one thing, designer, and the whole fit gonna go crazy. Well, but you got a nice jewelry on too, though, man. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the Rolex, the AP, the AP like fifteen thousand. I've been had this AP. I need to go get my shit, my other shit quick. I just been bullshitting. Got the little ring. This is my new Cuban I got. This was ten thousand. You know what I'm saying? I got this like two months ago. So earring, shit, earring a hundred, hundred. Hundred what? That thousand. Hell no, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. What the fuck? I was the fuck I would, nigga. It's a hundred dollar, hundred dollar. <laughs> I ain't, I, I ain't that damn hell no, nah, nigga. I'ma keep it G. What the fuck? A hundred dollar earring, nigga, finna shoot my damn ear out. <laughs> but nah, yeah, they pretty much. I keep, I got a simple dog on um, generational wealth shirt. My boy do his thing. He got shoes and everything. He got I, shoes, shoes and everything. I also want to shout out one of my partners, homeboys in Atlanta, Moody. He got his own clothing wear. It's called, um, shit, one second. I'm finna show y'all boys. Give me one second. This for all my hunters out there. When I say hunters, nigga be, nigga be styling. He be killing that shit in the game, bruh. Give me one second. What's his shit called? 24-7 hunt? I think that's it. 24-7 hunt. Let me see. 24-7 hunt, yup. He got everything. 24-7 hunt. Let me show y'all real quick. If all my hunters out there, y'all gonna see me with this nigga drip on. Soon. Where motherfucker at? Hold on. 24 He got his shoes and shit. Then my partner and so they want to home, boy. He hunt, he duck hunt. He got drip. He, that, a, duck, he a duck hunter. He a duck hunter, he a hunter, he a country boy, but he got his own drill to it. Y'all gonna see me wearing a lot of this shit too. I fucks with that. See niggas, see niggas don't know how to dread, you hear me? So we're gonna, gonna get that done, but. Other than that, man, that pretty much what I got on, something simple. At the fight, I had on all Celine. You feel me? That whole fit probably like six, six thousand with the, yeah, almost. I don't even say six thousand, I say like four to five hundred, five thousand. Almost. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. What can we expect from Dr. TG in the future? So, what we can expect from Dr. TG in the future? Well, since these bitch ass niggas trying to blackball me. <laughs> I got a lot of hating ass niggas. Dr. TG, I told I'll be starting my own podcast. Okay. Dr. TG will be starting his own podcast. What I mean by that is Dr. TG will be bringing individuals on, a couple individuals from anything, rapping, smart, intelligent, education, you name it, onto this platform. It's going to be a motivational platform. It's going to be a platform where everyone can goddamn come and level up in life, and I interview you. You know what I'm saying? Right here in Dallas, motherfucking Texas. Drop it. Dr. TG got merch coming soon. I got my own merch from the drop this week. Um, I just got them hired my new manager. Shout out to my boy Supreme, man. Just said Plevity. So y'all niggas want interviews. Y'all niggas want interviews. Y'all niggas want this. Tap in Supreme. He gonna tell y'all the ticket. We're gonna chop that shit up, but that's all it is, man. I'm gonna go hard this last quarter. Y'all finna see me. More interview coming soon. I got another link over my mentees in Dallas, Texas. The made the credit to cash link up part three. We're gonna be on another big ass interview, so be ready. Dressed up, fresh on you motherfuckers. For all you <laughs> niggas. Nah, niggas, now what? Um, other than that, they pretty much it. Oh, Supreme ain't trying to get me on a damn TV show, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if y'all wanna see Dog Teddy on his TV show, let, let Supreme know. You know what I'm saying? But y'all gotta have that bag right. Y'all gonna have me on that acting ass. <laughs> they got to pay you a lot of money to get on there? They ain't gotta pay me a lot, but they gotta pay me a bag. <laughs> see one thing about me. That's the right answer. See one thing about TG, nigga, I take all chain. I don't take just dollar, I take chain too. Yeah. I'm every, every money, money, nigga. Shit. Cause I know what I'm gonna do with this shit. Yeah. But other than that, man, they pretty much Dr. TG, man. Go like and subscribe. Follow me. Shout me out on 
Go join my mentorship. Contact you for, for, for the game. Contact me for the game. Matter of fact, contact Supreme. Oh, for sure. Hit, hit him up. Link in my bio. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to see y'all boy tap in. But yeah, that podcast coming soon. Drip. Good interview, Supreme, once again. And for all you niggas.